Hello everyone, welcome back to my second channel. Today I want to talk about how to stop caring about the opinions of losers and just other people in general. Someone commented on my live stream the other day uh, and said, Simone, do you think you're a narcissist because you don't care about what other people think? What a crazy statement. Let's actually fact check that. You know narcissists actually care excessively of what the world thinks of them. But also, have you noticed a trend online where when someone's confident, people feel the need to call them a narc? You guys need to learn the definition of a narcissist because it's actually incredibly rare. And on my old second channel, I made a video on narcissism two years ago. Narcissism affects like 1% of the population and of that 1%, 0.25% are women. So if you're calling yourself a narcissist, Damn, like that's really rare and it's something to not aspire to. Anyways, before we dive into the video, the Triple S Society is now live. So if you want to join our academy and our exclusive network, go check out the link below. You should not hold anyone's opinion highly unless they are someone who's doing better than you in life, someone you can learn from, or a friend or family member, someone who you are directly impacting through your choices and the way you are. Everyone else, they don't really matter. I've told this story before, but everyone told me I could not be a YouTuber. They would say, Simone, you're never gonna make it. They would laugh at me behind my back. Mind you, I tried for four years. What do I have now? Over a million followers on both of my channels. A massive audience that I have helped change their life. Imagine if I listened to these people. I would not be here making this video for you today. Who knows what I would be doing? But I had such a strong mindset that I didn't care. In fact, the more someone told me I could not do something, the more I was like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to prove you wrong. And a lot of the people in the past who would give me their opinion on what I'm doing, Simone, stop doing this, you're wasting your time. They're not even friends with me anymore. Because I remember the moment I started to blow up, they went silent. They were all embarrassed. I also want to take this opportunity to add that there are a lot of self-help YouTubers online. And a lot of these people, I don't think they're qualified in what they're saying. I would personally only take advice from someone if they are living a life I want to live. It is so easy for anyone to just pick up a mic and sit in their bedroom and give you advice that they're actually regurgitating from other influencers and YouTubers they've seen online. Like, be smart. People like me are actually your mentors online. So you actually should pick your mentors correctly. Don't forget that the people who hate on you as well, they're the ones with no life. As a YouTuber, I get hate every single day. You would not believe the things people say to me. And it is enough to make a person crumble. But I read this and I laugh. I laugh because I know they have no life. They're just internet warriors. They wish they were me. They wish they could live a life that I live. But instead, they're miserable. They feel the need to bring me down. Now, guys, this is very different from people who actually give you constructive criticism. But if someone is not giving you constructive criticism and they're just criticizing you or they're just hating on you, ignore it. I appreciate constructive criticism because it actually comes from a place of good. But everything else, it does not come from a place of good. People who don't have a life will always hate. They will never stop. I laugh at them because I pity them. I pity that instead of changing their life and taking my advice on, they feel the need to tear me apart online. That girl at school that's bullying you, she's bullying you because she hates her home life. In fact, there's so many studies that show the kids who are bullies at school, it's because they have a terrible home life. Their parents were probably bullying them or beating them up. So now they feel a need to go do this to other people. People will literally feel the wrath of what their parents did to them. Don't feed into the hate. Don't feed into the people who bully you. If you're struggling with this and you need some help with your mindset or perhaps someone's bullying you and it's hard to not take on their opinion, consider going to therapy. I talk about therapy a lot in all my videos and my favorite is BetterHelp. I've used BetterHelp in the past for over two years. They really helped get me through a lot of situations. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who is trained to listen to you and help you with whatever you need. Starting therapy can be hard and finding the right therapist in a face-to-face -face situation can be quite intimidating for a lot of people. But with BetterHelp, you can have your therapy sessions with a phone call, a video, call or even messaging if that's what you prefer. Additionally, if you can't afford therapy, they do have a financial aid program. BetterHelp can match you to over 30,000 licensed therapists in the network, which means you have a higher chance of finding a therapist that is right for you. Therapy is like dating. You can't expect to go into therapy and the first therapist you meet, you vibe with, you like them because sometimes that's not the case. You have to find a match. The thing with BetterHelp is you can actually change your therapist for free of charge. In in-person therapy, you need to go back to your doctor, ask for a referral and then go and pay a huge amount to change your therapist which is expensive 
inconvenient and time consuming. To get started, all you need to do is fill out a questionnaire and in most cases, within 48 hours, BetterHelp will have matched you with a therapist they think is right for you. And then you'll be able to schedule sessions appropriate to your schedule. So people spend hours at the gym investing into that body. Why don't you start investing into your mind? Join over 4 million people who have started using BetterHelp to change their life today. So go use my link to get 10% off your first month of therapy today. I even remember in high school, it's funny, like my name has so many S's, right? But I had a slight lisp when I was in high school. It developed out of the blue. In fact, I still think I have a tiny one now, but I genuinely was pronouncing my words with like a TH, like a subtle TH. And there was this girl, she would come up behind me and go like, Thamarine Thimmons, Thamarine Thimmons. And I never reacted. And I actually did not care because I knew she was not in the same league as me. Even in high school, I knew who I was. I was not necessarily popular. I knew who I was and who I was going to become. And I knew she was going to be a no one. What is she doing now? This girl, nothing with her life. She's literally doing nothing with her life. Will always, people who are insecure and afraid of your potential will always try to bring you down to their level. You can never get to their level. You have to be stronger than that. I'll give you guys another example of when I started to not care about people's opinions. So growing up to some extent, I really did care about what people thought of me, especially because I was always told I was intimidating by friends. And they would tell me, Simone, boys are gonna find you intimidating as well if you don't do X, Y, Z thing. So I would actually shrink myself in order to not make other people feel intimidated by me. And this caused me to entirely lose myself in my first relationship. Everything that I was and I am, I lost. I became this small person in order to make him feel better about himself. When I came out of that relationship, I remembered who I was and the trajectory of my life just forever changed or it got back onto the trajectory it was originally going on. The point is, if someone finds you intimidating, or not even intimidating, but whatever their opinion is of you, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if they're not actually important, if they don't have a significant impact on your life. You know when someone's opinion matters? You go for a job interview. You care, of course, what the hiring manager thinks of you. You're meeting your girlfriend or your boyfriend's parents. You care what the parents think of you. It would actually be entirely remiss to go into that situation and go, oh, I'm just gonna act recklessly and however I want because I don't care what people think of me. It's situational. You have to care sometimes. It's about differentiating between whose opinion matters and who doesn't. And to break it down, losers, people who have nothing going on with their life, people who are below you in life, people who are not close friends and not family and just strangers, they don't matter. These people do not matter. Their opinions don't matter of you. Everyone has big dreams, but most people do not go after the dreams because they truly don't have what it takes. Going after your dreams is never easy. The few people that make it, they probably went through years, if not decades, of pushing through failure and just having pure determination and grit. Most people lack this. They're jealous of you and they're afraid to see you succeed because if they see you succeed, that could have been them, but they chose not to do that. So they probably hate themselves for it. Anything someone says to you is a projection. Don't forget that. So I learned about this in psychology, but there's something called a reaction formation. And it's why a lot of closeted guys who are actually gay, they're homophobic. They're homophobic to the point where they probably will beat up gay men. But these are the guys who end up being gay themselves, but it's something they don't accept within themselves. And they're also simultaneously jealous of these gay guys who are free to be themselves. So they hate them and they feel the need to take it out on them. It's a reaction formation. So whenever someone projects onto me, I brush it off. It doesn't matter. You know what matters? My opinion and the opinion of the people closest to me and also my dedicated audience on YouTube. You see, if I said I don't care about what my audience on YouTube thinks of me, that's also remiss of me because you guys are my viewers, right? If I make content I want, and I go, hey, I don't care if you don't like my content, I'm gonna make my own content. I'll lose all my viewers. I'm not providing them value and I'm not, I'm not taking on their feedback. But will I take on the opinion of a random hater in my comments who just happened to stumble upon my channel and have, has not been a supporter for a long time? Probably not.